Well, we are now joined by Yukon Premier Ranj Palai. Premier, thank you for joining us today. Michael, thank you for having me. So obviously, not only are you Premier of Yukon, you're also the Liberal leader uh, for the Liberal Party in, in the territory. So when you come here to this federal gathering, what do you see in common with your party? Do you see enough issues where you converge as, yes, we can lead together? Yeah, I think the foundational values, uh, the balance between the environment and the economy, uh, understanding that we have to look after the most vulnerable people in our society, ensuring that uh, you know we, we look to uh, do big things in our country, make sure that we make sure that this country is a place where everyone can thrive. I think those are all things that uh, you know all liberals across the country uh, feel strongly about. But yeah, it's also there's some things that regionally I think as uh, liberals in the Yukon that we're uh, you know closely listening to the policies here and to make sure that uh, the things that we want to see. Um, are echoed in this room over the weekend. Okay, well, let's break that a little, a little bit because, you know, even before coming to this conference, of course, there's been uh, a big discussion about Canada be, being a, a big player in, in the global supply chain, sure. being a more reliable player, and a lot of that has to do with natural resources, mining, for example. When you hear that discussion, what are you looking for uh, as Yukon Premier? Well, uh, our focus on mining, of course, is you know, been been significant for many years. Where it's our 125th anniversary as a territory uh, this June, on June 13th. Uh, that whole process started with the climate gold rush and, of course, with mining. Over the last number of years, we've been very focused on critical minerals before it became sort of the, the phrase of the day across the country. Um, what I'm looking for is uh, investment uh, in infrastructure. Um, this country needs to have uh, a vision for big ideas. We need grid connection uh, across, so we need electrical grid connection to the north. We need to ensure that our uh, highways and airports are invested in. Uh, so we need all of those surrounding uh, pieces of infrastructure to ensure the projects can go forward. And we have to make sure that we have the regulatory uh, um, policy in place that gives you the ability to build these projects. It's one thing to say we need them. It's one thing to say we have all the critical minerals. But inevitably, you have to be able to take private uh, investment and, and put it to work. And that means you have to have a regulatory regime that can get you there. Still have to protect the economy, but you've got to build the, be able to build these projects. Well, you mentioned the economy, and when I think about uh, the economy in Yukon, uh, it does in many ways begin from a position of strength, though, because Yukon continues to, to, to do very well right now. Yeah, we've had um, um, a great tailwinds even coming out of COVID. We had uh, positive growth during 2020 and 2021 lowest unemployment rate in the country. Again, this month, the numbers just came out uh, yesterday. Uh, our GDP growth uh, led the country in 20 and 21, and we look really good um, you know, coming out of last year and going forward. Um, our population growth percentage-wise has been the, the best growth almost in the G7 when you look at provinces and states. So lots of good things happening, uh, and you know we want to continue to see that happen. And critical minerals and mining is our biggest con contributor to the, from the private sector into our economy, and uh, we want to see uh, Canada seize the opportunity. I mean, we are in a great position. Uh, all the, you know, everything we need to continue to see this country uh, grow and thrive is in front of us. We just need to get it right. Okay, so so critical minerals being one, natural resources, of course, and as you say, investment from the government. But that's not all you're looking for here, too, because you know, as, as much as we talk about the the economic picture, which is positive in Yukon, yeah. territory still has challenges right now as Absolutely well. Absolutely, has challenges. Yeah, I mean, the, the conversation going on behind us right now and mental health is important for the Yukon. It's important for the entire country. You know, we have challenges when it comes to men what's happening around mental health, supports for mental health, from coast to coast to coast. Uh, you know, we so we need to make sure that we see the investment in from Canada. I mean, we signed off uh, a great uh, agreement on the Canadian health uh, transfer back in January. Um, we need to get those resources uh, into our provinces and territories, and we and we need Canada to continue to understand that this is a challenge. I also think that uh, the opioid crisis that's happening is is extremely significant. We've been impacted immensely by it. Um, we're working with our communities. We're working with First Nation governments to ensure that we have the right strategies. But as Canadians, we have to look after each other as well. So I think it's important that this country um, we we move forward at coming out of a pandemic. We look after each other we look after our most vulnerable folks but we also understand that we have some big challenges and we have to invest in the resources to make sure that we're dealing with those uh, those challenges that we have across the country okay quickly losing time here but before you go I, I do want to get your your 
your thought on Bill C-21, of course, the, the, this government's gun bill. They have just uh, amend, amended uh, their, their definition of assault-style weapons. Yeah. That has come under fire by uh, gun control groups in, in the country. What's yeah. your reaction to it? Well, I, I want to see a balance. You know, we, we want to make sure that um, that lawful gun owners um, have the ability to go out and, and, and use use the firearms the way they want. I'm, you know, I'm an avid hunter. I spend a couple of uh, uh, weeks a year uh, doing that. I want to make sure I can continue to do that. People in the Yukon want to continue to do that. Uh, we have to make sure that our streets are safe. We know that. We have to make sure um, that that there's a, that there's a balance in the legislation. So, you know, Marco Mendocino came to the Yukon. He he listened uh, to. Uh, many different groups. I think there were some good changes made. Now we're looking at the new iteration of this. But again, that's the thing. I think it's important to understand that there's liberal values, but it's important to understand that there's regional priorities and perspectives, and that's what we need to make sure that the Liberal Party of Canada is aware of um, and, and that they're listening. Premier, really appreciate the time today. Thank you for that. Great to be here.